Hey everybody, hope you're having a good day. So this free plugin dropped last week on the old internet and it's been making its rounds. So I downloaded and did some tests and I have to say I'm very, very impressed with it. And this is definitely going to be my uh, plugin of choice now for doing any kind of bokeh or lens uh, blur. So this is another lens blur plugin. This one's completely free. Robite is behind this and they also have created a lot of other great plugins for After Effects like Plexus, which is really cool. Um, so fast bokeh, uh, the other couple options that you have for bokeh using a Z-depth mat is a uh, fresh lift and then the built-in camera lens blur. So I have this helmet scene and this is a free helmet if you want to get that on our website, there's a download. Uh, so here's our Z-depth pass and then we have our helmet render. So with fresh lift, uh, we can use that Z-depth pass and add blur. But you can see that there's kind of a halo fringe around this blur. It doesn't do a super good job. The other option that you have is camera lens blur. So if we turn that on, this is what that looks like. And you can see the blur around it is even worse. So the other thing is, if we play around with the blur radius, you can see that it's a little bit slower to work with. The blur focal distance, if we start sliding that around, it just takes a little bit of time to kind of calculate and buffer. Same with first lift, it's a little bit slower to work with. So enter fast bokeh and let's add a new adjustment layer and let's add our fast bokeh so you can see that we have a lot less options but this is very streamlined and fast to work with so I actually don't mind uh, we have depth map layer so we can change that to our helmet depth of field and then we have blur radius so we can kick that up and the first thing you'll notice is that it's a lot faster to work with you can see that it's very responsive so if we kick this way up, now we can go to our focus distance and we can start playing around with that. And just by kind of dragging this around, you can see that this is incredibly fast compared to the other ones. And also you'll notice that we don't have that nasty fringe around, uh, but I'm just super impressed with it. So first lift, it's a little slower and look at this fringe on here. Same with the camera lens blur. I mean, that fringe is just gnarly. That's definitely not gonna be usable for anything. But then if you turn on this fast bokeh, like that is just a really, really nice clean look and super fast to work with. So again, I don't quite understand uh, how we pulled this off, but it's such a valuable tool and it's completely free. So just wanna make you guys aware of this. Definitely add this to your plugin toolbox. I hope you guys found that useful. If so, make sure to subscribe to the channel and also make sure to download this free helmet model. I'll talk to you next time. Ciao.